A Home on the Prairie by David C. Lyon What is this place? Just imagine you're surrounded by tall grass. When you look up, you see nothing but sky. You hear a rattlesnake shake its tail. You watch a prairie dog dive into a hole. Where are we? A rattlesnake shakes its tail to warn its enemies. Close read. Confirm or adjust predictions. Highlight a bold word that helped you predict the topic of this text. Prairies have very few trees. We're on a North American prairie. A prairie is a type of habitat. A habitat is where a plant or animal usually lives. A prairie is a large open grassland with almost no trees. Prairie, a large open grassland with very few trees. Habitat, the place where a plant or animal usually lives. Close read. Vocabulary in context. Look for clues to the meanings of the words within or beyond the sentence the word appears in. Find the word bison. Underline the synonym or the word that means the same as bison. American bison. Many different kinds of grasses grow on the prairie. There are tall grass, mixed grass, and short grass prairies. Blue stem and Indian grass are the tallest grasses on the prairie. American bison roam the prairies. Another name for bison is buffalo. Bison and deer are prairie grazers, which means they feed on prairie grasses. Close read. Grazers. Animals that feed on growing grasses. Deer graze on grass, leaves, bark, and acorns. Close read. Text features. Underline the label that helps you locate the burrow in the photo. Confirm predictions. Did the facts in the text match the prediction you made before reading? What information in the text surprised you? Burrows. Holes or tunnels in the ground that are made by a small animal. Burrow. Many prairie animals live in underground holes called burrows. Badgers, black-footed ferrets, prairie dogs, and burrowing owls all spend time in these holes. Most owls live in trees, but burrowing owls live in underground holes. Close read. Text features. Underline the part of the photo caption that tells you where prairie dogs got their name. Colonies. Groups of animals that live in one place. Prairie dog burrows connect to form groups or colonies. These colonies are almost like underground towns. Prairie dogs got their name from the loud barking noise they make. The prairie is an exciting place to explore. Peek among the tall grasses. You'll meet this black-footed ferret and other truly amazing animals that live in this habitat. Close read. Text features. Underline the heading that tells you the main topic of these two pages. Confirm or adjust predictions. Did you need to adjust or revise your prediction based on information in the text? A day in the life of a rattlesnake. How does a rattlesnake spend most of its time? A rattlesnake hides in burrows or under rocks or plants. What does a rattlesnake eat? A rattlesnake eats mice, ground squirrels, and younger prairie dogs and rabbits. What are a rattlesnake's enemies? Humans, hawks, and eagles are a rattlesnake's enemies. Does a rattlesnake have a special trick? A rattlesnake rattles its tail as a warning to stay away. Your new words. 1. American bison. American bison. Prairie animals with large heads and high humped shoulders. 2. Blue stem. Blue stem. One of the tallest types of prairie grass. Three. Burrows. Burrows. Holes or tunnels in the ground that are made by a small animal. Four. Colonies. 
Colonies. Groups of animals that live in one place. Five. Grazers. Grazers. Animals that feed on growing grasses. Six. Habitat. Habitat. The place where a plant or animal usually lives. Seven. Prairie. Prayer e. A large open grassland with very few trees. Close read. Text features. Underline the page number where you can learn more about deer.